Stetson, cologne for men. Oh, really? Stop. We were discuss We talk all the time. If the audience, you know, right during the commercial. So I thought they you were missed gonna, it. Gotta put up cabaret because it was hilarious. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you were good, baby. That's all, all right. right. Fine. All right. You know what? I mentioned the hair. You know, Harry, Harry. Scotland Yard has uncovered a plot involving Prince Harry's hair. This is really awful. Apparently, a private security firm had been hired to get a young lady to like smooth up to him or what's the word smooth smooth or cuddle up to get him a little bit drunk hooch up to him whatever you want get one hair <laughs> off his head they were going to sell it to a tabloid and the tabloid was then going to test the dna to determine whether prince charles is harry's daddy or diana's ex-lover james hewitt Whoa. that is just how beyond even disgusting that it was his hair though the woman could lie True. And then, I mean, I know, yeah, she true. could. I mean, but we they had, had a private security firm apparently babies. watching Ooh. her. Mm -hmm. That was gross. It's terrible. That is really, really gross to do that to a but child. But he does. Like they ha he hasn't he been through enough. That's exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. I know it's wrong, but the kid does look like Hewitt. No, he well. doesn't. <laughs> he looks like his <laughs> uncle. He does look like his uncle. <laughs> he looks like his uncle. His uncle, his his uncle um, Prince Charge, Uncle yeah, Daddy. Yeah. No, no. No, all the Spencers had red hair. The sisters have red hair. Yeah. And and the and the brother. What's his name? Earl Spencer. You know what? Who cares who his daddy is? Well, I mean, I did nobody... nobody... because if he should ever inherit the whole, <laughs> who's your daddy? Yes, well, should bang, right? Like, well, you know what? He's all... not going to though. <laughs> all of those people over in Great Britain have been ancestors for years. <laughs> yeah. People with their cousin and stuff. Everyone knows that it's historical. Well, it is. Wait the a royal minute. family. It's historical. Yeah. They're well, all and they don't be playing banjos, right? Uh, Isn't that no, what happens? You can take courage. No. The but the other, I know. That's the other why you're kid, making me laugh. Who's the king? Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Who's going to be like mom? <laughs> The uh, William, who's going to be the king, yeah. has a little like the ears are just slightly coming out, <laughs> like like uh, like daddy's. But the little the other boy. But he has, you don't always get big ears. You don't always, you don't always look like your parents. No, no. Some people look like this. Did relatives. you study genetics? I'm Not everybody get gets big ears in the family. family. But who cares? I, He's a little kid. Don't do that. I don't exactly. Let it go. Yeah, a few more years. And I mean, anyway, that's her. I don't like that. But you know what? That Hewitt. Is he's obnoxious well, himself? He's a schieve, yeah. He's a schieve. He's I like on his little hairs. Yeah. He is now <laughs> selling his love letters or the love letters he got from Princess That's Diana, so which is disgusting. Although he says he will not sell them to anybody who would publish them. Right. But 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 his lawyer admitted on national TV that they can't stop the person because right. once they're owned by someone else, you don't have any. But can't you put a clause in that though? Because but then it's not a legitimate sale. Because the sale can't come oh, with I any see. conditions on Like, it. I have Marilyn Monroe's piano, and if anything should happen, it goes to a museum. It's not sold. It right. will go to a museum. But you can struck that, that deal afterwards, right? No, but I, she can it's put it in. in like, oh. it's in my will and stuff She like can, that. but the, because it belongs to you, you can bequeath it anyway. Right. You're not selling I'm it. I'm not trying to get cash. Exactly. Right. Yeah, okay. I didn't even know Marilyn Monroe played the piano. Well, actually, it was her mother's <laughs> piano. The reason I bought it is because it was oh. a very sentimental item for her, because it was her mom's, and that whole connection, and she didn't have a family, so. Oh, I see. She oh. might have played it once or twice, I don't know. Can I come over and play Chopsticks on it? <laughs> it's a little out of tune, no. but yeah. <laughs> Well, but do you, do you all have your love letters? Just out of curiosity. Anybody? I had got one one time that was really good. Yeah. And and then I I I threw it out. I just I, I so stupid. I regret that so much. Who who? Somebody, How old were you? There was a guy who was like I met when I was single for a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so it was after your divorce. I was married. Was... Yeah, after my divorce. Okay. And, and before um, your spouse. Before, before, before I met Steve, Steve, and he was a he was a writer and and a hermit. And uh, <laughs> you, how you did you meet him? Salinger? <laughs> this is the guy. I think I mentioned him before. How would you he, meet a he hermit? Miss he was a writer. He used to stay in his room and read from like a, the, the the brothers Karamazov and all of like the original uh, right. Russian novels and read and read. And he never went out. And so he pronounced a lot of words wrong. Like he'd say, "Let's go see the foliage." Uh, uh, you know, I know people say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but he would pronounce a lot of different words. But he was very well read and he wrote. So how did you letters. meet him? I'm. I met him uh, at a bar. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was did just go out his words. He and he really knew how to pronounce So he wrote you this incredible love letter? And he did it so good. Whoa! Can we? The letters, I mean. The letters. He wrote these incredible letters. That's what I meant. That's not what you want. I did so. I know. Oh, my God. You have a silly mind. You know what? I'm going to admit it because speaking of race relations, if I were white, I'd be red right now. Okay? Yeah, he did these letters.
letters. I mean, they were so poetic and beautifully written, and I feel bad now. So why did you throw them out? I'm just because I could have sold them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> to Hewitt. Uh, why did I throw it out? Yeah. I just felt like Moving reading on. them was cheating on the net on Steve. Right. When, I, when I met him, I didn't want to have those in he my house. He must have done it really good. Very, very well done. Uh -huh. I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we done. We need another right. broad. I know just the one. I do too. She's naked on Broadway. She's clothed for us. We'll be right back with Lorraine Bronco. Here she comes. That guy you